Hi, I'm Russ Kapper, and this is Business Makers USA, brought to you by Insperity, inspiring business performance. Checking in today from Columbus, Ohio, and I'm very pleased to have as my guest, Dr. Naveen Goyal, co-founder and managing partner of Loud Capital. Naveen, welcome to the show. Thank you very much for having me. You bet. So we're going to get into Loud Capital, but I understand that's not your only business interest these days, or, or is it? Yeah, there's a few things that I do. Um, first, I, I'm a partner at a uh, private practice of anesthesiology at, at a local hospital. I've uh, been a partner for about 11 years. Um, and I co-founded uh, a company called SmileMD about four and a half years ago with two of my best friends who happen to be anesthesiologists. And actually, that's what brought me into the entrepreneurial world. How, yeah. how did that happen? So I actually had a couple of friends that are dentists that said, hey, it'd be great if an anesthesiologist could come to my practice uh, and do some anesthesia for us. And I said, huh, never thought about that. And then as we inquired a little bit more, we saw an opportunity that um, there are a lot of people who are willing to pay for being sedated. Right. And so what that requires from an anesthesia perspective is uh, much more complex than just saying, hey, I want to get sedated. Give me uh, some medicine. Right. And so we looked into it. Uh, and I say we, as I said, my two best friends who happen to be anesthesiologists became on their own and we're all back in Columbus and our wives are friends. It's a great scenario, by the way. Right. Um, we're very fortunate to have our friendships. And we actually had other people do anesthesia for these different practices. And the reason I say other people is because my, the contract in my partnership is relatively strict and they said, you know, you can't do anesthesia outside of our practice. And so it made us actually think outside the box a little bit. And so we said, you know what, there's other people that we know of who can do it and want to do it, so why don't we have them do it? And that was four years ago. And so now we're actually doing a lot of children and dental practices who need the care, need access to care. And so there's a really a win-win-win scenario, which is really, I think, hard in a business to really get. Okay. So yeah. how did that lead to Loud Capital? I would say in the first year or two, you know, during this new entrepreneurial pathway for all three of us, we said, okay, how do we do this? So we know the anesthesia part, that's not the hard part for us. Now it's the business part. And so as we started talking to people, sought out some help, we realized there was not a lot of help. Um, and you're talking about help with entrepreneurship and starting a business. Help with entrepreneurship. Yeah, yeah. How, do, how do I start, a, right. how do I get a website done? Right, right. How do I get a developer to, to do that? Right. How do I get branding done? How do I know uh, an attorney to do contracts? Right. And so as I reached out, I actually reached out to an old um, friend of mine, his name's Darshan Vyas. He was involved in an incubator and in the startup world. And so I reached out to him and we started talking. And after a couple of conversations, I go, hey, by the way, what are you doing nowadays? And he said, oh, I'm actually part of a, a venture capital firm. And um, that's what kind of opened my eyes to that world. And that's where I started uh, getting very, very interested in that opportunity. Um, I was also angel investing, so I uh, am fortunate enough to have a little bit of income left over to invest. And um, entrepreneurship and startups and uh, great vision and inspiration always inspires me, so um, I had done a few investments. And so with all that, I saw opportunity just under our nose here in Columbus. I wasn't even thinking about the Midwest, I wasn't even thinking about the rest of the country. Uh, but the opportunity just in Columbus, there's so many great underfunded startups. And so that's where Loud Capital came about. So what, what size investments do you usually make? So it started out with basically around 50,000 up to about 150,000. Um, as we've evolved, we're two and a half years old. Um, as we've evolved, we've done bigger check amounts, but we actually like seeding the entrepreneur in their early stage company. Early, early stage. Early, yeah. And we've basically developed great relationship with our entrepreneurs. And since they're, you know, in, on a, higher level in the Midwest, there's not a lot of funding sources, right. especially early. Um, and so we have grown with our entrepreneurs and as they need more funding, we've been fundraising for them. We've written some bigger checks. We've gotten angel investors to come and help fund them. I mean, our goal is we believe in you. How do we help you grow? Do you do what a traditional venture fund does and goes out and raises money for the fund? are you all sort of self-funding? Absolutely, we we raise funds. We have a lot of uh, limited partners that mm -hmm. have invested uh, and we definitely appreciate it because initially they, they invested in us. Uh, mm -hmm. They trusted us to uh, seek the deal flow and, and take care of the entrepreneurs. 
um, and they've done a nice job. I mean, in, in, in two and a half years, we've invested in 24 different companies. Wow. They're all growing, um, all either raising the next round, hiring people. I mean, we've created a lot of jobs, so we've, we're really proud of that. Um, but yeah, we actually are a little different from other VCs because we don't have, at least yet, corporate LPs that have invested in us, so we have a lot of capital to deploy. What we actually do is have found a lot of deal flow or deal flows come to us, and as we get these deals in, we reach out to people and we, we tell them the vision and say, there's real opportunity for you here. And so that's what we've done. We've okay. raised money from various LPs. Okay. Well, I can't help but ask this, you know, with your medical background, the anesthesia and stuff, are you mainly focused in that category or is your uh, portfolio collection of 24 very diverse companies? Very diverse. Okay. And so, in fact, uh, some people recently asked, you know, what is your identity? You, you know, you have education tech, you have, uh, we're looking into some agriculture things, we have manufacturing, we have <laughs> Um, hydrogen energy, and we have aerospace. Aerospace is, and energy are actually a big part of, of what we've become. Um, but I will say technology ties it in. Mm -hmm. uh, we actually look at companies and entrepreneurs that are uh, very ambitious. Um, we're opportunistic like many other VC firms, but we also think we have to apply this company to an addressable market. Uh, we do think that helping to be involved with the entrepreneur yeah. and having so much deal flow in the uh, uh, once again just in the Midwest, just becoming an entity of the loud capital, we started having people reach out and say because there's just not a lot of funding source mm -hmm. in this early stage, and so I will say if there's a hundred deals on the table, we can pick one that we really believe in and really think we can help, you know, the, the best chances of success. But um, I will say we're going to continue what we're doing, which is really being passionate about entrepreneurship and um, helping to create a structure in a young environment, which the Midwest, I think, is a relatively young environment for startups and entrepreneurship. Cool. Naveen, I really appreciate you uh, sharing your story with us about Loud Capital. Thank you very much. You bet. And that wraps up my discussion with Dr. Naveen Goyle. And this is Business Makers USA.